I guess my sister Darlene recorded something she wanted me to hear. I, I don't get any TV reception up here. So uh, my brother Jake was nice enough to send up this young fellow Matt with a recording here on this, uh, this device. So uh, they've asked me to watch it and then maybe record a little reaction, I guess, so they can show it to their sister on television. I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's good. I like to hear from my sister Darlene. Uh, so, uh, Matt, I, can you show me what, what I'm supposed to push on this thing to get it going? Oh, okay, all right. A little, uh, it's like a triangle that's uh, facing to the right. Okay, I got it. Uh, let me see here. All right. Yesterday, my oh. brother Jake called me and asked me to come and see my brother Randy. Mm -hmm. Because Randy's been really crabby. And when Randy gets crabby, it ain't no fun up there on the hill. <clears throat> All right. I think my my sister is an absolutely wonderful woman, and and uh, she's my favorite sister, my only sister. But I think she's operating on a little bit of misinformation. If she's only uh, kind of making her assessment about my crabbiness based on watching these television shows, because I haven't seen her in person in a long time, but. Well, you you tell Darlene, the only time I get crabby is when my brother Jake makes me waste my time filming these ridiculous TV shows. I mean, how ridiculous and what a waste of time for anybody who even watches these ridiculous television shows. It's just a bunch of fantasy and illusion behind the gra glass screen. Live out the... They need to get out and see the real world. That's where the greatest show is. Let me tell you, greatest show I ever have seen in my life. I sit out on my front porch of my cabin when a storm I know is coming and you can't quite see it yet. And what happens when a thunderstorm's developing is you get uneven heating on the ground and then bare areas start heating up more rapidly than the areas around them, the forested areas, and it creates these little things they call thermal updrafts, these warm columns of air starting to shoot up in the air, kind of like when you're boiling a pot of water in a kettle on a, on a wood stove. You get those little bubbles. Well, same thing happens in the, in the atmosphere. Now, here's the interesting thing. No one knows those little thermal bubbles are occurring except for the turkey vultures. So I can sit out in my porch and then I'll see the turkey vultures starting to fly and they find those columns of rising warm air and you know what they do? They start circling around them. Talking about a real show. That beats anything you see on television, all right? And they start circling and circling around. And then it gets even more dramatic because in those columns of air in the distance, they start billowing up into these big white clouds and billowing and billowing because that moist air is getting sucked in and shooting up and creates thunder clouds. <laughs> okay, then what happens? The lightning. Now, let me tell you how the lightning occurs. These thunder clouds are developing so rapidly that it's stripping off all the electrons. It's moving so fast, the molecules are getting their electrons completely stripped off. So they create an imbalance of charges. They lose all their electrons. Well, the ground that we're on is loaded with electrons. So eventually that imbalance, imbalance creates a differential charge. And then all that electrical negative uh, electrons shoot up into the cloud to outbalance all these swirling uh, air molecules and then when the thunderstorm is over you think the show's over no the show continues because then everything is quiet 
and the trees are loaded with moisture up in the forest. On the ridges, I see these little wispy, misty clouds floating through the trees like ghosts. I talk about a real show. Whew. You can't find that on television. You can't find that behind a glass screen. It's out here in the real world where I live. And, uh, oh, let me tell you, another great show is, uh, I used to have this raven that would perch on a, on a tree outside my cabin porch. That raven 